So today we're going to be talking about bonds. A bond is a loan to a company or a government for a set period of time with the promise of repayment of that money plus interest. So when you buy a bond, you are giving your money to a company or a government. This can be a corporation, investment trust, government bodies. There are many examples. This person is called the bond issuer. You're loaning this money for a set period of time. The term, which is time. The maturity is the end of this time. How long until this time ends? So the maturity, you can ask yourself, how long until this time or term ends? So the end. So a bond's term to maturity is the years until it is mature. So this can be 10 years, 15 years, depending on how long you decide it. So it's the period during which its owner, this is you, will receive interest payments on the investment. When the bond reaches maturity, the end, the owner is repaid its face value. Now, face value is also called par value. This is the money, amount of money that you had given in the beginning. So it is the repayment of that money once the bond has reached maturity. So basically what you're getting is once it's reached maturity, you're getting that amount of money back as well as the interest payments that you get over the course of the time. So coupon rate is the rate of that interest. The rate of that interest that is paid by the bond issuer based on the bond's face value. So to calculate this, you take the annual coupon payment. This is the interest. And you divide this by the face value. Then you multiply this by 100%. This is because coupon rate is expressed as a percent. So you must multiply this by 100%. So bonds work by paying back a regular amount. This is the coupon rate. This is why bonds are referred to as fixed income security. This is because you are sure of the interest you will get each year. So let's put this all into an example. Say that you pay a $10,000 bond, the 10 year maturity, your coupon rate is 5%. This would pay you $500 per year. So once your bond has reached maturity, once the decade has passed, the end, you will receive that $10,000 face value back plus the $500 of interest that you had gotten every year. This would be your total earnings. So bonds are very important in a investment portfolio. They help balance out the risk over time. Generally, bonds are less risky than stocks, and if stock markets do plummet, bonds can help cushion the blow. But bonds also do have its own pros and cons, though there isn't time to discuss that in this video. If needed, we can go into that in a different video.